Hi, I have 13 minutes left on my storage. Maybe I could finish this up. We're reading Noah's sketchbook. And Noah removed the covering of the ark and looked, and indeed the surface of the ground was dry. So Noah opened up the window and it was dry. And in the second month, on the 27th day of the month, the earth was dried. Finally, the face of the earth was dry. Then Noah spoke to, and God spoke to Noah saying, go out of the ark, you and your wife and your sons and your son's wife with you. God said to Noah, everybody get out. Your whole family, go out of the ark. Bring out with you every living thing of all flesh that is with you, birds and cattle and every creeping thing that creeps on the earth, so that they might abound on the earth and be fruitful and multiply on the earth. So Noah went out and his sons and his sons' wives with him. Every animal, every creeping thing, every bird, and whatever creeps on the earth, according to their families, went out of the ark. So everything went out of the ark. Everyone, platypuses, snails, cows, birds, turtles, raccoons, they all went out of the ark. Then Noah built an altar to the Lord and took of every clean animal and every clean bird and offered burnt offerings on the altar. And the Lord smelled a soothing aroma. God smelled a pleasant aroma smell from Noah's sacrifice. It was a pleasing, it was a pleasing smell to God, pleasing aroma. Then the Lord said in his heart, I will never again curse the ground for man's sake. I won't, in God's heart, he said, I won't curse the ground because of man. I will never again curse the ground, God said in his heart. Although the imagination of man's heart is evil from his youth. Since he's young, he has an evil part. Nor will I destroy every living thing as I have done. God won't destroy every living thing like he did in the past. He won't do this again with a flood. Hey, maybe he won't destroy every living thing. This is mostly specifically about a flood. While the earth remains, as long as the earth remains, seed time and harvest, Seed planting and harvesting time. Time to gather the crops. Cold and heat. Snow in the sun. Winter and summer. This is in the U.S. Australia would be a different winter, a different summer. Our winter is December, January, February. Our summer is June, July, August. And day and night shall not cease. I won't stop working. It will keep going. God, so God blessed Noah and the animals, and God blessed Noah and his sons, bless you, and said to them, be fruitful and multiply. Be fruitful, fill the earth, and the fear of you and the dread of you shall be on every beast of the earth. So everybody will be in awe of you. Fear and dread of man on every bird of the air. Fear and dread of man. And on all that move on the earth. All the different animals. Rabbit, chicken, giraffe, seahorse, horse, dog, ostrich. And on all fish of the sea. Even on the fish of the sea. Everything will be in awe of you. They are given into your hand. All animals given into Noah's authority. Every moving thing that lives shall be food for you. You can eat. Everything that lives. Sheep. So I like different cultures. Here in America we say ba. The sheep says ba. The pig says oink. Cow says moo. Horse says nay. Bird says tweet tweet. Dog says woof woof. Cat says meow. And these animals. Bird says squeak. Every little thing shall be food for you. Every living thing shall be food for you. I have given, I have given all things into your hand. Even as the green herbs, just like I gave you the green herbs. Of, but you shall not eat flesh with the in life that is its blood. 
You shall not eat flesh with its life. That no meat with its blood in it. Surely for your lifeblood I will demand a reckoning. So if, if you kill somebody, death to you for killing. From the hand of every beast I will require it. If a wild animal kills a man, that beast must be killed. And from the hand of man, from the hand of every man's brother, I will require the life of man. Whoever sheds man's blood by man, his blood shall be shed. For in the image of man, for in the image of God, he made man. God made man like him. And as for you, be fruitful and multiply, bring forth abundantly in the earth and multiply in it. So multiply in the earth, be fruitful and multiply. And God spoke to Noah and to his sons with him, saying, And as for me, behold, I establish my covenant with you and with your descendants after you. God makes a promise with Noah and his sons and his future offspring. And every living creature that is with you, the birds, the cattle, and every beast of the earth with you. God makes a promise with every animal with Noah. Of all that go out of the ark, every beast of the earth, with all people and all animals that came out of the ark, God will make a promise. Thus I establish my co covenant with you. And I did these little lines around the covenant, the promise. Never again shall all flesh be out. Never again shall all flesh be cut off from the waters of the flood. Never again shall there be a flood to destroy the earth. So God makes a promise to Noah. Never again will there be a flood on the earth. It's not going to happen. And everything, living thing will die. Nope, not going to happen. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant which I make between you, me and you, and every living thing that is with you for perpetual generations. God's promise to Noah and to all future generations. Noah, grandchildren, children, and down to us in 2022. I set my rainbow in the cloud. There's a rainbow in the cloud, and it shall be a sign it shall be for the sign of the covenant between me and the earth. So God made a rainbow for us. It shall be when I bring a cloud over the earth that the rainbow shall be seen in the cloud and I will remember my covenant which is between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. I remember my promise between me and all living creatures. <coughs> Excuse me. The water shall never again become a flood to destroy all flesh. God's promise. We will never flood. This will not happen again. And the rainbow is, you could color it, red, orange, green. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, violet. Roy G. Viv. The rainbow shall be in the cloud, and I will look on it to remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh that is on the earth. Everlasting promise for forever to everyone on the earth. So when God looks at the rainbow, he will remember his promise. And God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant which I have established between me and all flesh that is on the earth. This is a promise between me and you. Now the sons of Noah who went out of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. I don't know how you say that. Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. These three were the sons of Noah. And from these the whole earth was populated. Shem, Ham, and Japheth. So thank you for reading this with me. The rest of the story is in Genesis sketchbook. You'll read uh, a, a lot of what happens in Genesis. And some more about Noah. And... I hope this has blessed you. Have a good Sunday.